Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to see you here. And as you can see from the title, today we are going to be talking about my March favorites. Now this is quite an old school YouTube video idea and that of course all the beauty YouTubers used to do back in the early 2014s or so. But recently I've seen more people do them again and I always enjoy to watch these kind of uh, videos so I thought I would do my March videos and I will do this every single month. I will give you my top 10 things for March and it is very random, it's not uh, you know, any particular category. There are some from beauty, there are some from lifestyle, some from fitness, etc. So let's get started. My number one thing on my favorites from March is the Pliability app, which is an app for stretching and mobility. And I just recently discovered it and I had like a one week free trial and I decided to continue with it because it has been such a life changer. I absolutely love the way the app is built up and I love that you get a routine every single day for stretching and mobility. As I struggle with a lot of back pain, a lot of stiffness from my office job and I sit a lot, stretching has been something that I've always needed, but um, it's hard to stretch without like any particular purpose. And what I like about the pliability app is that you can have a routine and you don't have to think about it, you turn it on and every day they have a little shorter video which is around 14-15 minutes long or a longer one from like 20 to 30 minutes. So depending on your time, you can choose the one that you wanna do. And every day it focuses on a different area of your uh, body. So some days it's shoulders and back stretching, sometimes it's hips and groins. And uh, just from using it for now roughly for two weeks, it has definitely made a significant difference in my life and I have never before been so consistent with stretching and mobility and I think if I keep up with it at least for a couple of months then uh, you know I will be more flexible, I will be more mobile and my body will just feel better. So I can highly 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 recommend and actually I can invite 11 more people and you will get an Two week free trial with my link so if you're interested comment down below and I will share it with you and I'm not getting anything you know paid from them it's just something that you can refer your friends up to uh, so yeah if you're interested let me know and let's move on to the next point so my favorite number two in my list is in-person yoga uh, if you saw my last vlog you saw that I struggle a little bit with mental health at the moment and it's been a stressful time in my life so I've definitely put uh, my mental health on the forefront and of course yoga is an exercise but it's also something that helps vastly with your mental health and uh, I have just mo noticed that doing more soft exercises for my body has really helped me feel better. So instead of uh, weightlifting and you know really hard heat exercises right now I'm focusing more on going on longer walks, doing some yoga and pilates and uh, again I have vastly vastly felt improvements not only in my physical health and I have way less back pain but also in my mental health because yoga is always interconnected with it and there's a lot of different ways you can do yoga you can do that at, at home or in person for me in person works much much better because at home there's always a thousand distractions there's cats uh, on top of me everywhere and I kind of can I feel that I cannot relax fully as much as I do in a studio, so I recommend getting, um, you know, some health pass or um, some class pass that you can use and find a studio near you that works for you, the teachers that you like, and try it out because I can definitely say that it is worth it. My favorite number three is journaling, and again, it ties really well together with my mental health. Uh, issues and kind of it helps to deal with your emotions and I've always been a girl to journal I think I've had journals since I was a little girl and I always liked uh, stationery and nice notebooks and things like that but just for you to see this journal I've been using now since January and it's yeah half full I would say so I've definitely focused more on journaling and I think it's a great tool if you cannot afford therapy Unfortunately, therapy in Germany is extremely expensive and it's also very hard to get on the list for therapy. So uh, journaling is a way that can help you deal with everything that you're going through in life. It is inexpensive, you can find a lot of prompts 
uh, online if you're dealing with a certain issue or you can just use it as like a brain dump and just write everything that you feel like kind of like in artist's way uh, I personally used to always care that my journal and my handwriting would be like super pretty and aesthetic and that stopped me often from journaling and now I kind of don't care I just jump dump everything that I have onto paper and that way I feel like I'm not holding it in myself so I think you should definitely try it out. Uh, it is cool to take care of your mental health in 2024, so uh, don't, you know, neglect yourself. My favorite number four is my Kindle, but more specifically actually reading and that the ties together a lot with my inner peace. I've been reading a lot more probably for the last year. And especially since this year I focused more on reading, I listen to a lot of audiobooks, but I also read on my Kindle. It relaxes me, I don't have this uh, screen in front of my eyes and I feel like I just feel way more peaceful. But I also take my Kindle with me to uh, everywhere that I go actually in the city. If I'm meeting with a friend and they're running late instead of 10 minutes of mindless scrolling, I read 10 minutes of a book or if I'm going with public transport, I read on there and it just helps me to stay more mindful. And uh, yeah, I think reading is something that our generations don't do enough anymore. And we're all way too tied to our screens, so it's nice to get it. It's nice to just stare at a book or at uh, something different and make your mind work again and your imagination work. And that ties together actually with my point number five is that no, I came off from Instagram. I haven't been on Instagram for around two to three weeks now. And uh, it is so good for my mental health. Not as good for a starting creator, because of course you have to be relevant. But I have focused right now more on my mental health and I know that I'm gonna be coming back to Instagram one day soon. But for now, I just felt like I don't wanna have this doom scrolling, I don't want to have um, useless, you know, mindless phone time. And uh, I noticed that I compare myself a lot with other creators, other people that I follow, my friends. You know, it always feels like they have nicer houses, they have nicer clothes, nicer body, they have more fun in their life. And I just noticed that it wasn't good for my mental health. So right now, one of my goals is to actually create more than I consume. So. Uh, I'm here on YouTube and actually long-form content in general is something that I feel is better for me uh, I think it's unrealistic to say that I will never be on social media or that I will never consume it But if I do consume it, I want to be more mindful and I want to consume more long-form content And if you're here, I think you can kind of agree with me My favorite number six is actually a water bottle and uh, this is a bo water bottle from Rhino Shield. But why I like it so much is because you can use this as a tripod for either your phone or your camera. And again, as a starting content creator, I think this is amazing because I always have my water bottle with me everywhere, um, but I don't always carry a tripod. And uh, if there is something spontaneous that I wanna film, I think it is really cool when I can just click on my phone or put the camera on there and uh, not, you know, care about uh, not having a tripod and it also isolates my drinks. It looks aesthetic and it is very handy and uh, good quality. It is a little bit pricey, I can agree with that, but I literally use it every single day. And again, it's kind of like a two-in-one, a water bottle and a tripod. So for me personally, it was totally worth it. Next, number seven on my favorites is Dyson Airwrap. I kind of hate to be the girl that, uh, like another person that says that Dyson is good, but it really is that good and I know it is pricey and when I was researching about it I wasn't sure if it's really worth it and then once when I got it for myself I really realized that it is totally 100% worth it for me for my type of hair I think it depends a little bit on the what you want from your hairstyler how often do you use it but I personally use it so much and it's just changed my hair day I feel like I can have good hair day every single day and that is something that is worth for me and I will have the device also for many years to come so 
I think personally that it is totally worth it. My favorite number eight is actually another fitness related thing, which is a sweat app. And that's a fitness app for all women. And when I was still going to the gym, I really liked having the structure. I like that they have so many different trainings. They have so many trainers and they have a lot of programs so you can really choose and tailor whatever you are looking for they have workouts for at home they have workouts for the gym you can choose how often you want to do them and um, I think that's something that helps with the consistencies when you know that you have a program and you don't have to like dread of going to the gym and not knowing what to do they have easy explanations and I think it is also quite affordable but if you are like on your fitness journey and you're lost on what to do I can definitely recommend you check that out because you will find something that works for you and your needs my favorite number nine is colors instead of neutrals and uh, I just realized that yes neutrals are super trendy and it maybe looks good on pictures and uh, yeah, everyone's kind of into this neutral clothing vibes. Um, but it's not something that I personally really identify with. I think it looks really good on other people and I would like to be the person that wears all neutrals, but the reality is I love wearing colors. I love having colors in the summer, springtime, but also in the winter time. I think it just brightens up my mood. It, uh, you know, makes me stand out. And I just realized that I'm gonna go against the trend and I'm gonna be wearing colorful clothes and my goal actually is that if I buy any new clothes not to buy anything black or neutral but rather try to find something that fits with other clothes and fits with my colors and last but not least quite random but digital calendar over paper one I always like I said loved stationery and I always try to be the girl that has a calendar paper calendar with her um, but the reality is that a lot of times I don't have it with me, but I always have my phone with me and it's really easy to put all my appointments in the phone. I just use the calendar app from iPhone and it syncs up with all my other devices. I can always check, uh, you know, what my plans are on the go and if someone invites me spontaneously to any, you know, events, then I can also very easily add it from my phone. But that being said, I still take notes on paper because I think that there is nothing that can replace, you know, writing on paper. Digital calendar, but paper notes. That's just something that I found works best for me. So these were my top 10 March favorites. And uh, like I said, it was quite a random bunch, but that's just something that has helped me this month, that has helped me to be on top of my fitness and mental health game. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you use any of those, if uh, you disagree with me, if you agree with me, I would love to hear your thoughts in general. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you already in the next video.